In this video, we're gonna show you how to make an Alexander three ways. Let's go. Hey there, welcome back to Mixology Flared. If this is your first time here, my name is Shay, one of the principal bartenders here at Mixology Flared. Today we're gonna to talk about an amazing cocktail. It's called an Alexander. So we're gonna give you three variations of one drink. So the Alexander, it's a gin cocktail. So we're gonna start with a mixing glass just like this one, a little bit of flair. A dry gin, not an American gin, you want a London dry gin. This cocktail is really easy to make. It's only an ounce and a half of your gin. Your white creme de cacao, creme de cacao, creme de chocolate, whatever you want to call it. Ounce. And an ounce of honey. That's it. Now give me the beat. Ice in that. Make sure that that is really sealed. You don't want to shake this and have it explode and go all over your face. Classic. Pour it all the way to the rim because if you want to put on a decoration you're going to need just a little bit less than the rim so you stick on a decoration like one of these ones and then for the garnish is nothing okay the classic alexander right, one and a half ounce gin one ounce creme de cacao and one ounce of cream and our next cocktail is the Brandy Alexander. Start with a new mixing glass. Brandy, instead of gin, ounce and a half. You can get this brandy at any local grocery store. Okay, one variation from the classic Alexander and the Brandy Alexander is instead of a white creme de cacao, we're gonna do a dark creme de cacao. Typically, if a drink, if the main spirit is a white spirit, like a rum or a gin or a vodka, you don't wanna dis, you know, discolor the cocktail using a, a dark liqueur, you go with a white liqueur. But since the brandy is already dark, we can go with the dark creme de cacao, and it's gonna taste just the same. And this one we get to have fun. It's still, still the same, one ounce. but dark creme de cacao. Now, last ingredient is an ounce of cream. Beautiful, beautiful color. Ice. Now, also, same, you don't want to mess up the seal. Make sure it's tight. You don't want to explode on you. You gotta really give it a good hard shake. You want to shake it just hard enough so when you're pouring it out, it actually has a really thick froth right on top of the drink. Drink number two, your Brandy Alexander. And the final drink of the Alexander Trilogy is the Blackberry Alexander. I think you'll love it, you should try it. Let's start with a fresh pineapple. Your Brandy or Cognac, ounce and a half. Half ounce of blackberry red. Seal it. 
seal it. Make sure it's tight. Good job. I think we're missing one ingredient. I think I've had a t uh, too many of these Black Ray Randys tonight. One ounce cream. this has a little bit more of a purple hue and that's due to the blackberry brandy liqueur. Now you're going to want to garnish this one with a blackberry and a sprig of mint. There you have it, the final cocktail of the Alexander Trilogy, the Blackberry Alexander. So out of all of these beautiful cocktails, the Blackberry Alexander the Brandy Alexander, and the Gin Original Alexander. You have to choose. Now there's a dozen recipes on the internet or in plenty of books like this one, Craft of the Cocktail by Dale DeGroff. Even, even Dale says that the original Alexander is equal parts, one ounce, one ounce, one ounce. And over time, the drink has actually evolved to have a little bit more, more bite, a little bit more of volume and straight spirit. So it's gonna be a little bit more boozy. You decide. So, hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. The link is right up here or right down here below. See you next time. Cheers.